Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from coordinate geometry chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is for one mark, the second sub question is for two marks, and it has an OR question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B question. And the third sub question is for one mark, and this question is taken from CBSC Board Examination 2024 paper. Now, let us begin with the first question. Ryan from a very young age was fascinated by the twinkling of stars and the vastness of space. He always dreamt of becoming an astronaut one day. So he started to sketch his own rocket designs on the graph sheet. One such design is given below. Based on the above, answer the following questions. Find the midpoint of the segment joining F and G. So before we begin, let us understand the question. So Ryan is dreaming of becoming an astronaut. So he started designing his own rockets on graph sheets. So this is one of the design he has made on the graph sheet. And here we can see that he has labeled each point as A, B, C, D and so on. Now here in this question, we need to find out the midpoint of the segment joining F and G. So here we have point F and here is our point G. So let us write down the coordinates of F and G first. Now F is on the x-axis at negative 3. So the coordinates are going to be negative 3 comma 0 whereas g is over here so its x coordinate is 1 and its y coordinate is 4. So we have written the coordinates here as 1 comma 4. Now we have to find out the midpoint of this line. So for that we are going to make use of the midpoint formula which is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. Now here let us consider the coordinates of point f as x1 y1 and coordinates of point g as x2 y2. So x1 y1 is negative 3 comma 0 and x2 y2 is 1 comma 4. Now we have to just substitute these values in this formula. So we have x1 is negative 3 plus x2 is 1 divided by 2 comma y1 is 0 plus y2 is 4. So 0 plus 4 over 2. Now negative 3 plus 1 will simplify as negative 2. So we have written over here negative 2 divided by 2 and here 0 plus 4 gives us 4 divided by 2. Now negative 2 and 2 go in the table of 2 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 negative 1 times is negative 2 and 4 and 2 also go in the table of 2 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 2 times is 4. So here we get the coordinates of the midpoint as negative 1 comma 2. So this is the midpoint of the line FG. Now let us move on to the second sub question. What is the distance between the points A and C? So here in this graph sheet, we have point A over here and point C over here. So we need to find out what is the distance between point A and point C. So let us first write down the coordinates over here. So the coordinates of A are on the x-axis it is 3 and on the y-axis it is 4. So it is 3 comma 4. And the coordinates of C are on the x-axis it is negative 1 and on the y-axis it is negative 2. So it is negative 1 comma negative 2. And since here the distance between the points is asked, we are going to make use of the distance formula. So we have written here, the distance formula is given as d, that is the distance, is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. Now this formula can be also written as x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Both of the formulae will give you the same answer. Now here we have considered the coordinates of A as x1, y1 and the coordinates of C as x2, y2. So simply we have to plug in the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2 in this formula. So here we have written x1 is 3, so 3 minus and x2 is negative 1, so minus 1 the whole square plus y1 is 4, so 4 minus y2 is minus 2, minus 2 the whole square. Now here minus of minus we get it as plus. So here we have simplified it as 3 minus of minus becomes plus 1 the whole square plus the same thing repeats over here that is 4 minus of minus becomes plus 2 the whole square. Now 3 plus 1 gives us 4 so we have written here 4 square plus 4 plus 2 gives us 6 so 6 square. Now here further simplifying this 4 square we get it as 16 and 6 square is 36. So adding these two together, we get it as square root of 52. So this is the distance between the points A and C. Now you can further simplify this. That is 52, we can prime factorize it. So here let us write it as 52 
So prime factorizing it, 52 goes in the table of 2. So 2, 2 times is 4. We get a remainder 1. So this becomes 12. So 2, 6 times is 12 now. Now 26 again goes in the table of 2. So 2, 13 times gives us 26. And finally 13 is a prime number. So it goes by itself. That is 13, 1 times is 13. So here we can write 52 as square root of 2 times 2 times 13. That is in terms of its prime numbers. Now here since 2 is in a pair, we can take it out of the square root. So we can further simplify this as 2 root 13. So either you can write the answer as square root of 52 or you can simplify it further and write it as 2 square root of 13. So this is the distance between the points A and C. Now let us move on to the OR question. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points A and B in the ratio 1 is to 3 internally. So here we have to find out the coordinates of a point which is going to divide this line AB in the ratio 1 is to 3. So let us begin by writing the coordinates of the points A and B first. So here the A coordinate is going to be 3 that is 3 on the x axis and 4 on the y axis. So we have written here 3 comma 4 and for the B the x coordinate is 3 and the y coordinate is 2. So we have written here 3 comma 2. Now let us consider the coordinates of point A as x1 y1 and coordinates of point B as x2 y2. And here since a ratio is been mentioned as 1 is to 3 we have to make use of the section formula. So here we have written the section formula as px comma y. This is the coordinate of the point which is going to divide the line AB in the ratio 1 is to 3. So maybe we are going to mark it over here and call it as P. So the coordinates of point P are x comma y and the formula is given as m1 x2 plus m2 x1 over m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 over m1 plus m2. Now m1 and m2 represents the ratios. So in this case m1 we are going to consider as 1 and m2 as and x1, y1 and x2 and y2 we have already placed over here the coordinates. So let me write the coordinates and the ratio over here for easy reference. So m1 is 1, m2 is 3, x1, y1 is 3 comma 4 and x2, y2 is 3 comma 2. Now we have to plug in all these values in this formula. So we have m1 is 1, so we have written here 1, x2 is 3 plus m2 is 3 and x1 is 3, so 3 times 3 divided by m1 plus m2 is 1 plus 3. Now similarly for the y coordinates m1 is 1, y2 is 2 plus m2 is 3 and y1 is 4 divided by 1 plus 3. Now this simplifies as here we have 1 times 3 is 3 plus 3 times 3 is 9 over 4 and the y coordinate is going to be 1 times 2 is 2 plus 3 times 4 is 12 over 4. Now here 3 plus 9 gives us 12 so x coordinate becomes 12 over 4 and y coordinate is 2 plus 12 is 14 over 4. Now 12 and 4 go in the table of 4 that is 4 1 times is 4 and 4 3 times is 12 and here 14 and 4 go in the table of 2 that is 2 2 times is 4 and 2 7 times is 14. So this is the point which divides the line AB in the ratio 1 is to 3. Now let us move on to the last sub question. What are the coordinates of the point D? So here we have to simply look where the point D is and find out the coordinates. So we can see that the point D is over here. So its x coordinate is at negative 2 and its y coordinate is at negative 5. So here we have written the coordinates of point D are negative 2 comma negative 5. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more questions of these kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.